everyone, welcome to my channel on this Friday, April 5th, 2024, and I just got back from Melrose House of Pizza and picked up my small Italian sub with everything on it. I didn't eat all day today, and uh, I got wrapped up in a project, and I don't know, I just, uh, I was looking at seeds online, I was looking at plants. I'm trying to propagate some seeds right now. Got some tomato plants, pepper plants, and a red hot poker um, seeds that I started from seeds I collected from a plant that I started from seeds. But I also have like led to me investigating the prices on Amazon of the propagation mats and the controllers. You can get these temperature controllers that the mats plug into separately and I have two of these and one wasn't working so I decided to investigate it's got screws on the back so if I can easily get inside I'm gonna take a look it ended up that the fix was that I just needed to there's a relay in there I just hit it with my finger give it a a flick with my finger there and uh, it was stuck that's all it was it was completely off these are like you know eighteen dollars you can get the complete set here for like 24 or something on Amazon so I saved me some money Oh, 
decided to buy a 2 liter bottle of coke Carolina. 
is up to, uh, you know, New England, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine.
I just might save this half for later. I made um, I made meatballs the other day, maybe three days ago now, because I had spaghetti the day I made it, the next day, and I had it yesterday. Pretty sure yes, yeah, yesterday was the third time. So I had spaghetti dinner three nights in a row with a, with a homemade salad. But the meatballs came out. One of my better, one of my better tries. I, uh, I diced, not diced, I, um, is it diced? Yeah, I diced a whole small yellow onion. And then I sauteed it first with, and then added garlic for about a minute. Sauteed the garlic. I guess that it's supposed to get like the bitterness out of the garlic or something like that. You don't want to burn it. And then I let that cool and I mix that in with the 85% ground beef and um, breadcrumbs to put two eggs because the eggs I got were small. The last batch of a uh, dozen eggs I bought were small. I didn't pay attention to the carton. mozzarella mix for pizza. I can put that on top of the sub. I don't have to go to the deli department. Pick up any, uh, well, no provolone. I think provolone would be good on it. I think I, the mix I have is a provolone mozzarella mix.
it is called I-258, for lack of a better name. I forget why it's called that, but I had that variety and then I sold it when I got rid of all my figs and I hope I might be getting the fig bug again. There's like hundreds of varieties. People get addicted to owning every variety they can get their hands on. A small number of them are, are ideal for, you know, New England area zone. I'm in zone 6B. So yeah, I'm going to probably put this in saran wrap because I got the vinegar out in the paper here. everyone we're at 27 minutes 30 seconds thanks for stopping by that was a nice Italian sub on this blustery cold April 5th Friday April 5th 
here in Massachusetts. Nice Italian sub with onion rings, Massachusetts potato chips, baklava. Evidently, a lot of people claim the right to inventing baklava. Pistachios. I think this had walnuts. Maybe those were pistachios too. But they have those green pistachios, you know. And maybe a, a candy, what do they call it? A candy date or something like that on the top. But thanks again, everyone. And um, thank you for your comments and your continued support. Thanks to all my PayPal contributors, and thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to make any of your Amazon purchases. Appreciate that. It's an easy way to help support the channel in addition to watching the video. If you're going to make any Amazon purchases anyways, it helps me out with the commission. If you use that link to get over to Amazon, so thanks for that. And until next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good weekend.